Well, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Prepper channel. So I'm on a hunt with Taz over there and my brother. Uh, we're actually on a pig hunt here on some public land in Texas, but we thought it'd be cool for Taz and I to do kind of a get home bag test while we were uh, while we were doing this. It is a little windy. I apologize for the noise, but what we did is basically we took our get home bag, so our little less robust bag, doesn't have a cook system, doesn't have any hunting stuff, doesn't have a ton of uh, a ton of niceties, you know, camping niceties. It's just designed to get us from work to home in the event of a disaster or whatever. We've talked about these bags before. So I thought, okay, we're gonna do the camp out for the hunt. So we obviously have hunting clothes. We obviously have our rifle and all that good stuff with us. But we'll, our sleeping gear, our camping gear, our, we can only use our get home bag. So kind of thought I'd show you a little bit about what's going on in mine. Now keep in mind, I work now 45 miles from home. So if I ever had to get home in the event of some type of natural disaster where Dallas is jacked up, I'd have to walk. If I did that, it would take me days and days. So I don't just have a regular little tiny bag like you see these guys have with one snicker bar in it and a pack of matches. I'm gonna need a lot more gear because I'm gonna have to be out there for days walking 45 miles home, uh, just being realistic. So the tent, which is one of the lightest on the market today, is the Big Agnes Fly Creek Ultralight 2. Kind of show you what's going on there. It's a two-man tent, they say, but clearly, as you can see, it's a one. Now, you can see over there, I don't have it uh, stayed down all the way, and it's gotten pretty windy today, although it's warm, so the breeze is no big deal. But uh, it's a perfect one-man tent. The whole thing weighs two pounds, 10 ounces. So really expensive. Normally, some of your places like REI and Campmore are about $389. I did find this for $260 online a couple years ago, and it's a good tent. Two pounds, 10 ounces. So I got the tent for some shelter. This is gonna keep the wind and the rain off of me. It's gonna keep the bugs off of me. And it's gonna keep my stuff dry that's inside with me so it's not on a wet ground. An option that I also have for the bag, depending on the time of year, is a hammock and tarp, which you've seen before. So uh, that's always an option. As a matter of fact, I have it in the bag right now. So a good option, but if you're in an area like this, we're in this campsite of this public land in Texas for hunting, no trees for the hammock right here, and you can't really camp back in the woods per regulations. Now, of course, that's not a true get home scenario because it'd be an emergency and you can do what you needed to do. But anyway, the hammock really wasn't gonna work here, so I definitely went with the tent, but it is lightweight, so I can still afford it in the bag. Other things in there is I do have a sleep system because I'm gonna have to sleep while I'm out there for the mattress. I have the Climate Inertia Recon XL. Great military style, just a few puffs from your breath. Uh, sleeping mat, it's not the thickest at about an inch and it has some holes all through it, some uh, some areas for what they call weight mapping and everything, so it's not solid, but it does a trick. It is comfortable to sleep on. About $80, maybe 100 depending on where you find it, and one pound, so really worth having. I have a tiny Kelty um, camp pillow. It's super small, it's not very comfortable, but again, I'm not luxury camping. This is just some basic gear, minimalist type gear to get me home and stay alive and a sleeping bag now of course the sleeping bag has some weight and it has some cost to it but again i'm not going to go out in the winter time and this is the end of march we just had snow two weeks ago i'm not going to go out in that in some type of a space blanket or something and expect to be okay i want to kind of ensure the best i can that i'll be okay with the gear so i have a sleeping bag now this sleeping bag is the recon four Okay, Recon 4, it's rated down to 14 degrees, and I'm gonna do a separate review on it because I will say it was a gear failure. I'm glad I tested it. I've had it for three years. I've slept in it a couple times, but last night it really got to me, and I'll go through that in a sec in a separate video. So I go with the, the uh, Climate Inertia Recon XL sleeping mat, the pad, the Recon 4 sleeping bag, which I'll have to change now, and the Kelty pillow for my sleep thing. There's, of course, the 511 Rush 72. You've seen uh, that bag and most of its contents, although they do change. And then I have some food. One thing I realized also on this gear test, we have been eating the food, but this is the kind of stuff I had in there. I got a heater meals. These are 12 ounces, but they're good to go because you can heat them with like an MRE without uh, flames and stuff. It's got a little flameless heater that comes with it. I got uh, MRE sandwiches. This is barbecue chicken. And I got the MRE bread. Then in my little snack pack, I've got Gatorade Energy Chews, uh, Cliff Bars, Dark Chocolate Nature Valley Granola Bars. I've got some Gorp there, some Trail Mix. 
um, raisins, you know, stuff like that. So I got some snacks. I had a few meals. I had some sandwich meals and stuff like that and even some bread. But I, I really realized that, you know, if I'm going to be out there for four or five days in a horrible walk home from work situation, which has never happened to me, but it could. It's happened to other people in America. Um, I'm going to need some more food. So I have a shelter. I have, you know, 20-something pounds of gear, so I'm okay on my bag, and it's carried well in the bag. I have rain gear. I have a separate thing with protective, or good uh, durable clothing that I've shown you guys in my little get home uh, or bug out clothes kit. So I have that in a separate Moab 6 511 bag in my car with this bag. So I could change into the right clothes, but I definitely don't have enough food to last me many days, and I don't have enough, uh, I don't have a good sleeping bag. So this one is, uh, kind of bombed on me so i'm gonna go over that in a separate video but anyway just thought it'd be kind of cool so you see taz over there he was really rocking the same thing you've seen his stuff before in about in uh the video with taz in uh probably march or april of last year 2014. so he's rocking a eureka solitaire tent a little one-man double hoop style tent which is very cool also two pounds ten ounces way less expensive at only 90 bucks and then uh but a lot more compact got a sleeping bag in there Taz found out that he needs a sleeping pad although <laughs> although we'll go ahead and give it to the video because I promised him I screwed him last night I didn't realize that I had an extra pack uh, an extra pad in my bag I could have helped him out and I did some of the stuff he's rocking in his little EDC bag and Smith & Wesson bodyguard 380 some medicines trauma pack first aid kit some bars and jerky as well and this is him from this bag which is attached with Grimlocks to the front of his get home bag to his three-day pack he has this which goes in his car all the time and can do these EDC style items so a pretty cool deal he's kind of really uh, taking the modularity to the next level because he's starting with this which is always with him that's in the vehicle for a walking out situation of course uh, then he could go with a big bag for a super wilderness survival situation so just a couple different things of gear there's the big agnes over there the fly creek so they're compact it's not luxurious awesome camping with the four inch thick mattress and a fan going or a big lantern and uh, now we have chairs and stuff because we're deer hunting but the uh, camping and sleeping situation is just you would stop you would take shelter prop up your shelter sleep keep going the next day or the next few hours or whatever you know it's not where you're out there having a great time like we are on this hunting trip this is just a gear test but a real get home situation would be pretty severe so you just need the gear to provide shelter food fire warmth water you know fire water all that good stuff you know clothing so just uh, hopefully some tips of course what we have in our bags the tents we use the gear we use all this good stuff not necessarily what you need to use it's just some ideas maybe for you to start your own kits with or take whatever you've already bought and the best thing you can do is get out in the woods or go to a state park or a city park or something that you can camp in and try it out if you've got that gear for bug out or if you got that gear for get home then put it to use and see how it does you might be surprised like i was i have a sleeping bag that really doesn't work for me or you might be surprised like taz is oh i've got all this prepared stuff and hey i am still missing a sleeping pad a good foldable sleeping pad that's portable so these are little things but they're really critical once you get out there in the field okay guys as always i appreciate the views and subscriptions keep them coming as you know scout prepper is part of the three channel network with scout tactical scout prepper and scout hunter check them out on facebook and the web scouttactical.com check them out on twitter and instagram and as always thanks for watching